very quickly. They are falling away, and it's going to be Gact now returning to the stage, representing Singapore. Looks Woo! like, is he, gonna, is he fighting Luffy? Because I saw Luffy walking up the stage. If that's the case, that means Ricky and Snake Eyes may have to do a country kill. That would be uh, a tough one for the American fans, but that's how it goes as you approach <laughs> these top eights. Man, what an amazing round. That was so much Whoa. bullying back and forth. Sokka with one of the most obscene combos I've ever seen in top eight <laughs> evolution competition. Uh, just really obscene. Ricky, uh, just a great combination of reads, smelling when Sokka was a bit off, Great reads on the throws versus the pursuit on the dive kicks. Very, very smart stuff throughout both of the matches. And even when he got blown up, showing he had a lot of composure. Didn't even get mad. That's the other thing I've seen. A little bit of maturity in Ricky's play style. Oh, yeah. He is a very emotional player. Although, to be honest with you, Ricky is probably one of the best players I've seen at playing mad. <laughs> he does play well mad, but I like the fact that he's now able to sort of even move past that. And shout outs also to Kwanba here. They have a new official Evo joystick that they're selling, I believe, for about $150. It's a beautiful joystick. Please check that out on Kwanba's website. Had some Sumie art, kind of like a Japanese ink yes. art print style Very thing. beautiful thing. Shout outs to them and all the sponsors here for supporting Evolution 2014. Without them, we can't put on events like this. And without you, you guys. there'd be no point. <laughs> without exactly. everybody at home, yeah. <laughs> and these fantastic players on the stage. It's a symbiotic relationship, guys. You scratch my back, I scratch yours. I'm it's not scratching that back. Not again. <laughs> Fool me once, James. Fool me once. <laughs> and it is going to be Luffy versus Gax. This will be interesting. Rose definitely one of the characters I think that is perhaps slightly more capable of fighting with Fei Long than some. She's got a lot of really strong mid and sort of longish range pokes with the standing roundhouse, the ability to slide and get in close, and also, of course, the standing forward, which is a very strong move against anybody, making her throw and vulnerable and jumping over wave attacks. Shout outs once again, those little beautiful little fight packs that you see at the bottom of your screen right now, brought to you by the guys at One Frame Link. Shout outs to, I mean, it's it's like a team of one, right? It's Nick Paladino, let's just say. Yeah, Nick, Nick Paladino. Paladino. <laughs> yes, great, doing a great job here, providing us with this kind of information, providing you guys at home with some neat little tidbits of information. And it's again, it's another, uh, you know, facet of this community. Uh, Nick is a high powered, uh, financial professional who does a lot with uh, big numbers and taking those talents and applying them to his fandom for the yeah. fighting game community. So that's <laughs> what makes this scene go round. It's yeah, very cool like, and often weird. Just that's like cool. a lot of other guys, it's just what we do on the side. Yeah. You know? <laughs> but we do it with full passion. We put everything into it to bring to you guys these kind of events. Evolution 2014 on a scale unlike anything we've ever seen. It's not just another tournament. And we ain't done yet. Luffy finding the first throw there, and now getting Gak to land on this. I'm not familiar with super strong Rose players from the Singapore community, so we'll see what Gak's experience looks like up against this very tricky character. But despite how mobile and slippery oh. Rose can be, they along so good buttons, immediately pushing Rose into the corner. I like that he just went for it with those EX command grabs too. Said I will not be bullied at mid range. Once I get in there, oh, I'm going in. Got right into there. Took out the orb. Doesn't matter. Luffy still trying to approach. Great block on that overhead. And for as strong as Gaxa's play, oh! that is going to stick with him. Chicken wing denied. That is one of Fei Long's most commonly gone to sort of easy throw it out offenses. And Luffy putting his foot down for France, saying no. And, this, and one of the rare things that you're going to see here is despite using the EX Soul Throw and kind of having trouble at the beginning of the round, he is sitting around two with three bars as opposed to Gak's one bar. That's a huge difference. And again, Gak now trying to go with this dance that we saw earlier in his first matchup against Bonchan. But Luffy getting the best of it. As I said, Luffy, or excuse me, Rose is a character with those long to medium range pokes that really are just a little bit out of range for Fei Long. One of the fastest forward dashes and longest throws. Open them out. But now Gak finding those Rekkas. 
has Luffy cornered. Luffy, I was going to say, looking for an opportunity to land that ultra, or excuse me, start it up. But wow, Gax not surrendering. Stands his ground. Oh, got right under there. That was a beautiful board, Gax. So smart, yeah. Got himself out of the corner. And so Gax was thinking to himself, oh my god, he has all that space. So he wanted to move forward and press a little harder. You saw all Luffy did was just start hitting buttons at the end, and Gak walked into all of them. And that's what's so strong about Luffy. He's been a Rose Loyalist for a long time. So in addition to being excellent in terms of execution and overall strategy, he knows the way people play against Rose. He knows their natural instincts. He knows what you want to do to try and upset her natural flow. And he's able to play beyond one step beyond that, sort of reacting to your reactions. Beautiful, beautiful stuff from Luffy. <laughs> really earned that one. He knows what you want to do. He knows how, he fully knows how annoying Rose is as a character. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, she's a very, as I say, slippery fish. Uh, it's just hard to hold on to her yeah, with all those back dashes. A lot of these characters, such as Rose, such as Dalsum, such as Chun Li, they base their gameplay on annoying you. You know, I, mean, I, I don't even mean that in a mean way. You yeah. know, it's about frustrating the opponent because the more frustrated an opponent is, the That's more predictable they yeah, become. Yeah, a hundred percent. They're easier. That much to read. Wow, and threatening like he's gonna slide, but not doing it. Oh! Oh, beautiful back dash. You saw that little hop. Yeah, that's what the back dash looks like when you're already cornered, and it does render you briefly invulnerable, which got Fei Long's move to miss. Yeah, it's almost like a little dodge. Yeah. That's basically what you're doing in the corner, because you're not moving anywhere. You're just hoping to go through a move just like Luffy did and punish appropriately. And again, that dash forward, you can smell when Fei Long wants to jump in, and yeah. he's just going to dash right underneath. And the beautiful thing about Rose is she doesn't have to use a lot of meter, so she can burn a meter on a low strong into super, into soul spiral in the super, and not have to really worry about losing tools to use for the rest of the round. Yeah, EX meter is sort of uh, optional for Rose. Not, not critical for Fei Long either, but definitely a more important part of his game than maybe for Rose. And then here we go, Gak. As they're in the corner, getting a little bit more. Oh, he drops the combo. So he's gonna activate the ultra and just push him out. He's not really, you're not gonna see him try to get a lot of hits. And we saw Gak do this before, stare this down. I guess he does not have the life to give. Luffy, up 2-0. Razor Gak on his heels. See Luffy nodding there. Everyone representing an entire continent right now. Incredible intensity, and you can see Gak reeling there. Not entirely, he's like, ugh, that, yeah, yeah. That's the, that is the, <laughs> the classic, like, ugh. It's literally like there's a force shooting out from the opponent in the screen that causes <laughs> you to be like, ugh. <laughs> it's a very, like, straight sort of monkey man kind of reaction. <laughs> I love it, like, Mammal no, matter, stuff. no matter what country you come from, some of the language is universal. Yes. Like, looking at your joystick like, I swear I did a fireball, what happened? Yeah, oh, I love it, I love it. Players around the world make the same face. <laughs> for the same reasons. It unites us all. Very interesting slide there. He's trying to foul up his timing. Get some space. Ooh. Luffy withstanding the storm so far. Not getting totally blown up. Oh, oh great command throw by Gak. And here he goes. This is the first instance of Gak having great momentum here. But oh. Luffy, wow. All right, what's Gak going to do? Is he going to try to get in? He does. Oh. He wasn't sure it was going to connect. Yeah, he Luffy risk it. had an opportunity to try and juggle. Oh. Wow, so smart. Gak, I think, being a little too aggressive there. When he activated the Ultra, I think I would have just given him the space, backed off. He was leading in life. I, you know, armchairing it, I tend to agree with you, but I think his strategy for that round overall, which worked out very well to that point, was max the aggression. Just go in. Like playing our delicate little back and forth dance hasn't panned out for me. I'm down two games. Oh! I gotta get in there and let's do it. Gets a focus crumble in the corner. So he's got the life lead now. Now he's got a huge life lead. Great throw. We saw him do this a lot to Bonchan. Jump oh. over. That option select miss. Yeah, but that's Rose. Her back dash so far so safe. A lot of option selects on the back dash don't work against her or Chun Li. See, this time he just stayed there. That time he played defensive. Luffy with this little string chipping away and gaining a lot better screen position. Ooh. Oh, oh, and he is Ooh. looking for that to combo it into super. Because that will take him the round, but a great 
forward walk and throw by Dak might have even been trying to chase down a back dash, but it worked out in his favor anyway, and he just reacted with the throw and got it. But this is still match point for Luffy. Still loses bracket action. That's right. Gak could be going home just like this. After his incredible performance representing Singapore to this point in the largest Street Fighter tournament in the history of the planet, Evolution 2014. Let's see what he's got. Oh, beautiful combo. Still close enough for that low jab to connect after low strong. Luffy's pushing his way out. Oh, beautiful oh. throw. You see him almost teleport into the oh. oh, here we go, but he missed the soul spiral. He and had a, the super. And a great empty jump from, from Gat. And here comes the soul orbs activation. And now Luffy needs to have this composure. He knows he almost was able to close it out. Oh, he got oh. him. There it is. Another gonna be super. very close. Ooh. And Luffy says there will be no repeat victory for Singapore. He's going to keep hope alive for and, all of Europe. And Ryan Hart there, his country, well, not his countrymen, uh, his continent's been. And not even the European Union men. <laughs> England's doing their own thing. But Ryan Hart, cool guy from, from Europe, broadly considered, and also down there cheering for Luffy and his incredible accomplishment. Wow, so, so good. Three players started from the Western Hemisphere. That is Ricky Ortiz, Snake Eyes, and Luffy. All three of them are still there, but unfortunately, one of them is now going to have to go home.